Cells are complex elements that represent objects or symbols you use regularly in your designs. Cells can be created from any combination of elements and are stored in an external file, a cell library. After attaching a cell library, you can easily place the cells into the design. In this lesson, you'll learn how to place cells. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page, set the following. Workspace, Bentley Connect Training. Work set, MS Basics. Click Browse and open using cells.dgn from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 09 working with cells folder in the course data set. By default, the data set is installed in C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash work sets. Open the models dialog by clicking on the models icon in the home tab in the primary group. Open the cells model by double clicking it in the list. On the annotate tab, locate the cells ribbon group. When working with cells, you usually need to open a cell library dialog as this is where you can attach a cell library and view the available cells. In the cells ribbon group, Click the small button in the lower right corner. This button is called the Dialog Launcher, which opens the Cell Library dialog. No cell library is attached, so no cells are listed. One thing to note, if any cells are listed, ensure that the buttons Show Shared and Parametric Cell Definitions and Display All Cells in MS underscore Cell List are disabled. In the Cell Library dialog, select File, Attach File. Navigate to the backslash MS Basics backslash Standards backslash Cell folder in the course dataset and open the Cell Library Interior.Cell. The Cell Library is attached to the design file and the cells in the library populate the dialog. Click on each of the cells in the list to preview them. You can easily place a cell by double clicking it in the list. Let's double click the cell Chair 1. This makes the cell the active cell for placement and activates the Place Active Cell tool. Active Cell Chair 1 which is already set correctly because you double clicked it. Active angle, zero. X scale, one. Y scale, one. Expand the tool settings window by clicking the arrow in the lower right corner and ensure that true scale is enabled. Place the cell several times in the floor plan. Without resetting, change the active angle tool settings to minus 90 or 270 and place some rotated cells. Here's a hint. You can use the arrows next to the active angle field to set the angle to predefined values. Reset to stop placing this cell. Add some more furniture to the floor plan by double-clicking other cells in the cell library dialog and rotate and place them. There is something important to remember. If a cell defines an object with a real-world size, such as a chair or a door frame, it should always be placed with a scale of 1. Only cells that define a symbol may be scaled. The reason that true scale must be enabled is that the cells in the cell library interior.cell are defined in inches, while the master unit in the active model is set to meters.
If true scale is off, the cell will be the wrong size. When it is on, MicroStation reads the units in which the cell was created, compares these to the active model's working units, and automatically corrects the size of the cell if the units are not the same. It is best practice to have true scale always enabled when placing cells. Here's another hint. Another way to activate the Place Active Cell tool is by selecting it on the Annotate tab in the Cells group or in the Home tab in the Placement group. Another way to open the Cell Library dialog after activating Place Active Cell is by clicking the Browse Cells button beside the Active Cell field. In this lesson, you learned how to place a cell. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.